Hi and welcome in Angular series. My name is Sufyan Fadil and in this tutorial we'll show you how to create an Angular table with pagination, sorts and custom filtering using Angular 8 and Express.js. And please note that I will be reusing the admin dashboard template from the last tutorial to avoid creating the app from scratch. So let's go ahead and clone the project. Open the terminal. Open your desired folder. For me, I use always public. I will go inside public and clone the repository. I will call it simply dashboard. You can call it whatever you like. Once it's cloned, install the dependencies. I'm going to start mine. I will open a new terminal and open Visual Studio. And uh, first let's go and see what the project looks like. We have a layout, we have mainly one layout. We have two pages inside module, dash one and password and posts. And we have a shared component and shared widgets. We have area card and page shots. Let's get back to the uh, dashboard and serve it to the browser. All right, this is the project and this is how it works. This is mainly the dashboard and the posts is empty. We will change that. We start first by the the post component.js and we need a table. A table always needs a data source. The data source, um, you need to associate the match table data source, this one. If you pay attention, I'm using an auto imports plugin. For the moment, it's a uh, type any, but I will create an interface for it. I will call it I posts, stands for interface, uh, which contains an ID, uh, author, type string, also, oops, author, string, I will copy that, to use it later, we will use a title, and a category, like that, and a date, of course. Uh, all of these uh, attributes will be optional, so we'll add a, a question mark, that's it. So now we will change any but I posts or the interface of posts, just like that. We need also a variable called posts, uh, in which we will store all the uh, all of the data that that we have, oh, at least for the moment. The column. Um, we will put in a, on it the list of the columns that we want to display to the uh, to the client. Uh, mainly, uh, it's the same. This is the same attributes. It's ID, author, title, uh, category, and dates. We can add few ones, and we can choose to hide uh, some if we if we would like. For example, we can show only the ID, author, and title and we can hide the others. So it should be explicit in line to anyone. So the posts, I will give it for the moment. Um, let, let's create some data. Okay, so ID one, author, uh, maybe my name. Yeah, the category or the title. First posts. Category and categorized. That's it. And a date. That's it. I will take all of this object and replicate it uh, two or three times just to demonstrate. Um, that, that it works. I will change the ID so we can have something unique. First by, by second. And 
and now we'll go to the to the data source and give it this data just like that for the moment there is no HTML so don't expect to this to work um, this is only on the component side uh, this um, this is the HTML we will change it out uh, you don't need to memorize it I personally memorize it but you can copy pass it from the from the material design another attribute called data source we will give it data source that we have in the components inside we will create um, a container inside the container a th stands for the header uh, well the table header uh, okay so we use mat header cell as I said you don't need to memorize it you can copy past it I copy past it for, for maybe for years um, nothing wrong with that the most importantly um, is to know what you are doing um, and this tutorial is showing how it works but nothing wrong with copying it for the moment the column called ID column ID and now the column is okay we can copy past it a few times once for the other and second time or third time for the title Four time for the category category for the rows it should have mat header row and an asterisk mat header row ref now we give it the columns, all the columns that we uh, have mentioned in the past that components. I will show you that in, in a few seconds. So in a row, let row and columns dot columns. Okay, so it's a bit ugly, but it's working. I will fix this CSS like in a second. So the table should go should take a width of 100% this is it now it should be fine that's it very good it shows the two rows that we have created and nothing working for the moment we will add that in a few seconds so in line 21 we created the columns as we mentioned earlier and now we add more values just to show it it's working pretty well change a few values here it is working like shown good i will add the to do this data should be coming from an api we will add that later on this tutorial but not now we will focus on the math table first So the sort, the sort is pretty much easy. All we need is to import some um, a, the uh, mat sort module in our um, default module. In the HTML, we will add this attribute called mat sort with s in an uppercase. 
we will add a mat sort header to all the columns that we want to use the sort on them uh, for this tutorial I will make them all sortable just like this um, let's go here create a, um, a view child this will manipulate the, the DOM or the HTML. Uh, the mat sort, static, true. You can check the documentation about that. Uh, we will create a, var a variable called sort type of mat sort. something not to forget is to bind the sort that we have in the html in our data source so we they can both work together i will click now on the id again so it's changing okay uh, if i click the author on the author i want nothing but change i will click on title here it is good the pagination it's also simpler i will pick the code or the html from the documentation i did this part i don't remember it so i pick it in each time from the documentation let's go to the html and pass this all right uh, I will change few variables in here. For example, the length. The length should come uh, come from the posts variable that we have created. Um, it's posts dot length. Like that, we have it. We'll have the length of the uh, table um, dynamically. All right. Don't forget, of course, to import its module. It's which is much uh, mat paginator module. It should be working by now. Yes, it's working. We have only three, three records. I will change the page size so we can test it properly. I will change it to one. And don't forget also to add it to the page size options. And just like the sort, we'll add a view child also on the pagination. Match paginator and static true. The variable will be called paginator. Type of match paginator. Just like we did for the sort, we will do it for the paginator. We will link the source paginator with the paginator that we have in the DOM. Let's check that out. It's changed, so it's it's good. Let's try it. Yeah, it's good. Let's back. That's good. Everything is working as expected. Now the filter. The filter is a bit different from the sort and the paginator. I will create for it a uh, a form. Not only a form, it just could be just an input. I'll add it inside a form field, a label that I will call it filter, simply filter, and then input uh, type text. I will replace I will add a placeholder example first bust okay to not to forget I will add the uh, the mat input module to the to the to the default module and of course the form field and that's it here is a okay so the line is way too big now it's now it's good it's just simply a ts error i just fixed it 
I will add some CSS because the the field won't take 100%. I will give it 100% to look pretty, just like this. Okay, so now this is just a HTML element. It doesn't do anything. Um, I will add that in a moment. Okay, so the key up should be fine. I will call a okay so apply filter okay so this function is not created yet I will create it if you are using Ingerton then maybe you shouldn't send the um, dollar events and in angular 8 the dollar event is mandatory I've created my function I will um, console that like I will console log that particular event to see what I should look for okay let's type anything okay I will open that object okay okay it's target target yeah okay uh, it's target dot value let's check the value the value should contain dfg here it is here it is so okay so the event the target that uh, um, the target dot value right I will remove that I will create a filter value that should take the event target value some typing is really it's really important in, in this data source filter it's really important to trim the the value that we are looking for and to compare either with to lowercase or to uh, to uppercase okay I will display the full list and now look for let's say a third okay so the third is coming and this is really um, the second okay posts all of them contain posts perfect We will create the backend for it. Um, uh, I love using Express Generator. You should install it first, and then do like me. Go ahead to the to the to the folder that you have created for me, which was public the dashboard, and and type Express No View um, No View, and then um, the backend service name. I will call it simply backend. Okay, so this generated backend, it contains some things that I don't like. For example, the cookies. The cookies should go off. I will, okay, so pet and let's remove 12 and 13. Just like this. I don't need them because an API doesn't need um, cookies. Let's clean also the package.json and we will add a package really important one it's course uh, you can achieve the same result without this package but yeah let's save some time and add uh, the course and don't forget to install all the de dependencies i will add course to the application to the express application Okay, up the choose course. Ta da! Okay, it should be working by now. The user, I will reuse the users one by posts. We'll fix the naming. So it should be posts router. Uh, define name posts. I'll go to routes and change users by posts. Okay, I could have, could have kept users and create a new post but yeah this is way better don't forget in the index.js to replace the render by send because render it will check uh, if there is a if there is a template in engine we don't have one because like there's this is this is an api i will use um uh, json instead 
In the past, I will reuse the data that I've created earlier, these three ones, and those ones. localhost port 3000 by default uh, the index should should display title express and post should display all the posts that I've created there's a website called micro I've created the exact same uh, attributes that I need the ID author title and so on and we generated a hundred random uh, data just like this I should break the the service the the, the backend uh, service and run it again. Let's run the request and everything is okay. Good. Now we can reuse it inside our front end service. Let's close that. We don't need it. Let's go to the Angular page. Okay. The dashboard service we used it for the service. I will reuse or I will use uh, or will create instead a a new one dedicated for the for the posts. I will add a plugin called Axios. It's for HTTP requests. Um, I love using it, so it's quite easy. So I will create the service now. I will call it posts. Here it is, it's created now. Okay, first I will call or import Axios plugin or package. Axios from Axios. Uh, let's go in line 11 and create a new method called get, get posts. And get posts should call a call method in our servers, on our backend servers localhost port 3000 slash posts 3000 slash posts just like this i will add a to do to instead of calling the the backend server just like that we should maybe grab it from the from the configuration just like that don't forget to return the um, the promise okay and in in the default module we should add um, the um, the service in providers section good for the posts component i will add private post service from posts service just like this and this um, give me a second so this post service dot get posts uh, dot ten a call it a response and this those posts should take response dot data. Okay. Um, something that I forgot. It should be in ng dot init if I'm not mistaken. Let's try that out. Let's try it. Okay, should go in here and okay, leave that here. And those lines in here this should be fine don't forget to instantiate that okay so it's working so it should, should have been in in in, in, G on in it okay the pagination is working 
okay this is also working great let's try search uh we'll search by drama okay this is drama okay maybe uh, okay let's try the the sort also working great Here is a little bonus. As if you remember about line 22, I will add a new um, menu. So it's a, a, a menu button. I will add it in here for more control. You know, in the table we can, for example, either open this uh, particular post, like to 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 view it, or to update it or to delete it. So I will add the menu. I will pick its um, HTML from the documentation. Okay, this is great. This is what I'm looking for and paste it in the HTML section. This is good. So button uh, icon. Okay, um, I will need the button module, icon module and the menu module. Okay, button module and last one which is Matt menu module this one this is great uh, let's see how it looks like this is great okay okay I will change these buttons all I need is one or two maybe I need the edit uh, edit icon called uh, delete I love this name it's, it's really self-explanatory delete and edit let's refresh and it's working okay all of this coming from the back end let's appreciate the work this is our dashboard and this is the posts page.